Hi you guys, so I'm doing an iridology analysis today. These are Alana's eyes. This is her right eye, and I want to start out by saying that she has a very strong constitution. This is the one of the clearest eyes I've ever read. Um, she mentioned in her email that she's been a vegetarian since she was 12. I don't know if that affects it, but she has a very strong constitution. The fibers in her eyes are extremely straight, and actually her eyes look and remind me a lot of my eyes. This is a picture of my eyes right here that I inserted. You can see they look very similar. Um, this is a picture of her left eye. So you can see that she has green eyes, but they're definitely blue underneath, just like mine. She's got a ton of sulfur in her bowels, particularly in her cecum and small intestine. She has a pretty thick skin ring, just like I do, but overall, it's kind of freaking me out how similar her eyes look like to mine. So we're going to get deep into the analysis here. We're going to start with the right eye. Okay, so this is the right eye, and the weaknesses that I see are, like I said, lots of sulfur in the small intestine and the cecum, just a lot of lymph throughout the eye. Um, she has a skin ring, and in some photos, it almost looks like she has a cholesterol ring, but in some photos, it doesn't. So it's very interesting. It's actually one of the most odd things I've seen in an eye. It looks like she has sulfur out, out in her skin ring. So... Perhaps the sulfur is trying to escape through the skin, and so I would suggest going to saunas and just sweating, 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 and also um, dry skin brushing can be particularly helpful. I see a right kidney weakness circled in purple, um, and this is recurring in both of her eyes. I see a spot on her hip, thigh, knee, and foot area, which is kind of interesting. She definitely has nerve rings, which represents chronic adrenal glands. I definitely have those too. And circled in blue is a thyroid weakness. Okay, now we're going to move right along to the left eye. In this one, I see an extreme spot on the appendix, which is circled in purple. I'm wondering, have you had your appendix removed, perhaps? Um, I would be interested to know that. Um, and then also, same on the as in the other eye. There's a lot of lymph and sulfur in the outer skin ring. And... The number one thing that I've seen in this eye that I think that you should look into is I see an extreme amount of lymph surrounding and covering the heart area. So do you have anyone in your family that has heart weaknesses or have you ever had heart weaknesses, heart issues? I would definitely look into that. Um, I know Dr. Morris has a heart formula because uh, I've never really seen a heart weakness as bad in, someone, in someone's eye, so I would definitely look into that. And I see a pretty big spot on the tonsil area that's circled in green. Do you have your tonsils still? Um, I see a lung and bronchial weakness. I circled that in orange. And then, like I said, in the other eye, there's the same little weakness uh, circled in red on the hip, thigh, knee, and foot area. And then circled in yellow, there's an ab abdominal wall weakness. And lastly, circled in dark blue towards the bottom right of the eye is the sacrum weakness, and the sacrum is in the back. Um, this could also kind of venture into the lumbar region, but I particularly see it in the sacrum. So that is your iridology analysis, Alana. Thank you so much for requesting it, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you guys want an iridology analysis yourself, just head over to my website, victoriarawvegan.com, and you can get one. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.